Hello everyone. Welcome to a a classic video, a classic style video. Uh, hopefully this will be a short video. I don't know how short this will be, but hopefully it'll be short as I clap. But Darts Vidal has posted this this tweet longer, and it is a great tweet longer, by the way. It, it is short for no reason. It has really no audience. It it is it is great. My favorite one. It, it the best part of it is that it baits people to read it. Uh, because you go to Twitter, it cuts off at for revenue now, it, like it has, I I'm really enjoying Kingdom Hearts three and cuts off as revenue now. So you get the short end version of the begging, and then if you click the link, you get the full course. So he baits people to read it by saying, "I'm really enjoying Kingdom Hearts three." Kind of gets you to read the rest, and then you realize, "Oh, he needs more money." Kind of kind of sleazy, if you ask me, but you know it starts with ill. He needs the money, guys. He needs the money to pay the bills. <laughs> Okay, let's let's get through this and uh, maybe go through a little bit of the pre-stream that you did today. So I'm gonna do the acting voice everyone loves. I'm really enjoying Kingdom Hearts three, but I need your help. YouTube is at record lows for revenue now, and I know a ton of my viewers are not attending my streams because they are playing themselves and want to avoid spoilers. Unlike God of War last year where YouTube viewership made up for the lack of stream atten attention, this will not be the case now. So let's take a look at this. He's comparing this to God of War. Okay. If we even go back to God of War, there, there's two things to keep in mind during this. One, this is January. The game came out in January. And he's comparing it to a game that came out in March. Now, uh, to Darts the Dill lore, January is the month that... Where all the the big boom happens with revenue. March is due to the dead month. It's due to the whatever month. For some reason, he he, he keeps switching the story around. I think it said January was the no no never mind. It was December. January was the uh is the drought. Never mind. Never, take that back. Nope. But okay. Still two different months. Why is it compared to God of War? God of War had better revenue anyway because it was in March. January he told us always has bad revenue. He always told he tells us this every year. He tells us this he told us this last year. Guys, January, the revenue is very low. You got you gotta tip me, okay? January is a dead month, it's a drought. YouTube thinks that people should save up enough money for December and they go on vacations in January. Wrong! I work every day. I need the money, okay? So he tells us every year that January is always bad revenue. Every year. So I love that he's acting as if this is a big revelation. Even though he told us this for every fucking year. Every year, January is a drought. He told us this every year. There's, there's weekend previews where he said January is a drought. I don't know what I'm going to... Whatever. Except that one time where he was freaking out, then the, the following week he said that everything was great, which is which is just phenomenal. But, uh, yeah, he, I mean, yeah, yeah, I remember that. I, I just said it in passing, but that that is just great. He did a, this is just irrelevant to this, I guess, but there was a time where he did a weekend preview, begged hardcore, was like, I don't know how I'm going to pay the bills, guys. You know, I, I don't know. And then the next weekend preview... Guys, it looks like that I overreacted and I was able to pay all the bills. So that was great. That was great that Dark told us that. And then he never said that again. <laughs> makes you think. But anyways, he compares it to that, which makes no sense even by Dark's logic. Secondly, God of War was back when he was with Curse. He left Curse in July, in June, July. He was running into bad revenue since then. The revenue that he got in God of War was always going to be bigger than the revenue he got YouTube by YouTube ad by YouTube AdSense. He Dark even told us that when Dark Vidal got onto YouTube AdSense, he literally told us I'll be making less money because it's YouTube AdSense. He told us that, and I know YouTube AdSense is trash because I have it, fucking trash, and. He's telling us, guys, my ad revenue, it's down. 
I don't know why. Last year, I was making a lot of money. Now I'm not making enough money because you're with fucking Curse. Why is he comparing that? It's it's not. It's like a person who gets fired from their job saying, Guys, this time last year, I made more money than I did right now. And it's like, yeah, you had a job last year. <laughs> I mean, it's, it, it just blows my mind that he's that dumb about it. it it's like, guys, I made, I'm making less money than I did during God of War. It's like, well, no shit. Of course, because God of War came out during a time you were with fucking curse. Brilliant. Brilliant. Brilliant, uh... Deduction there. I I'm I, I can't wait for Dark Souls to realize the correlation of the times when he was with Curse making money and the times that he's with YouTube ad sets. I can't wait for him to connect the two. It, it's gonna take him a while, but someday he's gonna he's gonna it's gonna, it's gonna connect. Someday. Someday, you know. You know, it's like that kid who you have in math class in elementary school and he just doesn't get uh why two plus two equals four. He doesn't understand that, but but later down the line, it's gonna, it's gonna be like, oh, because there's two and two. Oh, that's how addition works. Eventually, he's gonna, it's gonna connect. It's gonna, it's, it's gonna dawn on him. He's gonna be on his day off with Cat. Cat's gonna be like, uh, uh, can, uh, can I listen to a BTS, uh, Phil? Yeah, I don't, Cat, Cat, you know why I didn't make it a buddy? Now they did when I was playing God of War? Because I was with Curse, dude! <laughs> I mean, if he compared it to the times when he was on YouTube ad, ad revenue, like YouTube AdSense, it would have made more sense, but he isn't, because he knows that's dumb. Just, just amazing. It, 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 it just astounds me. He doesn't compare it to the times when he was with AdSense, he compares it to the time he was with Curse. Because guess why he's, he's making this comparison? His viewers are retards. If he if he can't make the connection, his viewers can't make the connection. So they're gonna read this and be like, "Wow, Phil, I feel that's terrible. I can't believe YouTube ad revenue is so fucking low. Oh, I'm gonna give you fifty million dollars, Phil. Here's all the money. Take it all, uh, and not realize that it's because of the fucking curse network. Amazing, but his fans are pretty slow too. So I mean. It is what it is. What can he do? Uh, so he says that. I mean, it's a, that was a big tangent, but that was that's that's just amazing. I love these. Com I love it. I love that comparison that much. He do he does it every every time, and it just astounds me that he doesn't understand why that is. But okay. Uh, despite having better views on DSP Gaming in January than the last three months, my earnings are insanely low. Therefore, if you plan on watching Kingdom Hearts 3 there, and not on the streams, I have to appeal to you. Please contribute in, in a small way elsewhere. Why would that matter, by the way? Why would the small donation matter? If you, I mean, just think about it. He, he tells us that a dollar means nothing to him. The amount of money he makes on the on uh, the vlogging channel is pittance. Uh, Teespring, I I I even believe he said Teespring was pittance as well. I mean, he kind of slammed everything. He only wants tips, tears, subs, and tips. He, that's literally what he wants. He, he's gonna go into Patreon, but we'll get into that a little bit later. But uh, he tells us that that uh, oh yeah, ha you have to contribute in a small way elsewhere, but everywhere else that it contributes to his business in a small way is pittance. So what's the point? It's obvious that he wants whales. It's it's so obvious that he wants people to tip him like $20, $50 every day, but he's not gonna get it every day. Uh, maybe maybe the, the whales will give him it every day, but it is what it is. Uh, and also, if the people who watch him on YouTube and... Okay, first, first off, uh, okay, first off, the people who watch on YouTube don't don't they know that he's that he's he has trouble paying the bills? He tells us every day, everywhere he goes, I, I need money to pay the bills, the bills, the bills, guys, the bills, yeah, the basic bills. He tells us every fucking day about the bills, 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 but 
the YouTube the YouTube audience doesn't go to the streams and cheer Selber Tip. Uh, they don't go to Patreon to pledge to him. They don't do anything. They just got either just sh uh, shut up and watch, or they're fucking trolls watching. Who knows? Who knows what it is? But I don't think that people who are reading this too longer are the kind of people that are going to do it. I think all this is going to do is make the whales pay more. That's And that's honestly what I've been noticing with these trends of begging. It, it's, a, it's just that the, the begging doesn't work on normies. It's kind of guilting the whales to wail more. It, it's kind of like a guy... It's like, hmm, I don't know. I mean, I don't know how to describe it. I mean, I, like, I, mean, I was going to try to make a, a prostitute reference because DSP is pretty much a whore on Twitch, but I, I can't think of it. I mean, the only thing I can think of is that the 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 that you go to, like, DSP is like that whore that comes up to you and says, I need, I need the money to pay the bills, dude. I need the money. My kid is going to college. I need to pay, pay for this, okay? Uh, so... Uh, thanks for the money. I'm g let's let's go. Let's go, man. And and then he does. She the prostitute does the job right after. Guys, I really need the money. Uh, can I you know maybe may pay more and 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 uh you know next time I'm gonna come maybe pay more next time. I don't know. It's it's dumb shit. I mean, he just want all this. All that happens is that the whales pay more. That's that's really what I've noticed with these with these trends. It's not normies. It's not the people who who ca who um. Watch for that actually like him. It's these. It's the whales. The whales are like, oh, poor Phil. I'm gonna give him more money. It's kind of kind of special, but let's continue. So he needs to appeal to them. Whether it's stopping by a pre-stream or a stream, ev wait. Oh no, stream of a different game to cheer sub tip than nor when normally you wouldn't, or pledging to my Patreon, or buying something from my tree, my tree spring, my teespring. Sadly, just getting views for a game on YouTube isn't enough to make ends meet anymore. Now this, this, this makes me think. It makes me think. Remember in that Ask the King? He wants to try to make people to, to stop going to YouTube and to go to Twitch. Now, Guys, grab the tinfoil. Grab it. Wrap it around your head. Theo theory time. What if... What if this is all a ploy to get people to go to Twitch, to tier sub or tip, and to do Patreon and all this stuff to make these people leave YouTube so he can finally say he's done with YouTube and then still make the same money on YouTube on top of it? Oh, oh, dude, that's that's a that's an incredible tactic. He he wants people to keep watching on YouTube, but he also wants them to also go to other because when you watch an ad on YouTube, that's pretty much free money. But he wants them to do that, but then also to cheer sub and tip, and to go to pay or go to Patreon or Teespring, dude. He is gonna try to milk them to go elsewhere because he wants, dude, dude. What if that's the end game with this? You know, he's not going to do it with every game. He knows that. He knows it's not going to work for every game. He's going to find a game that's going to get just just the same amount of views as, as he would with with uh, Final Fantasy, Dragon Quest, Kingdom Hearts 3. That viewer base, when he sees a stream with that viewer number, he's going to be like, Ah, oh, this, this is the stream, man. This is the stream. I'm going to start guilting people to come here. And I'm going to say, YouTube's terrible. I'm not making any money. And then they're going to go to fucking Twitch. They're going to cheer sub or tip. Or go to Patreon. Or do all this other stuff while watching him, watching him on YouTube. And he'll make that money plus that money. And he'll get his dream come true. And then he could put less effort to YouTube. Which is, I don't even know how that's possible, honestly. But he's going to do that. So he gets more money. Holy fuck, this is the, the pig, the grand pig of schemes. Holy shit, this is, this is a grand Theo theory. This is, this, this is putting a lot of faith in, in Dark Fidel being this fucking cunning. What, guys, what if he is that cunning? Because my, my other Theo theory that's kind of, is there, is that he is smart when it comes to making money. When it comes to milking money, he knows what the fuck to do. 
Like, look at how he how he survived for ten years. He knows. He knows how to get people to 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 give him money. If it's not everyone, he knows what to do. The pig, the pig knows how to how to beg. The pig learned to beg. <laughs> when you teach a pig to beg, that pig is gonna get rich. I'm 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 gonna he's gonna be stable. Maybe not rich, maybe. Maybe he's not gonna be Trump Trump level, but but he that pig will 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 be stable. He'll be able to to own a house. <laughs> teach a pig to beg, you'll own a house, guys. Be careful. Be careful. When it comes to responsibility in pigs, it, it's dangerous. Teaching pigs how to beg is dangerous. Very dangerous. Uh, if you're going to teach a pig to, to beg, you got to be careful, guys. <laughs> okay, uh, let's continue. Let's continue with this. Uh, God, I'm really getting very self-conscious, TBH. <laughs> Someone's going to comment on it. But okay. Um, uh, so, yeah, he wants to do this. And the other thing is that the people who are reading this either already has, has done one of those things or all of those things, or they're never going to. So he's kind of preaching to the choir here about it. Uh, because why would they go do another stream to do this? Why, why, like, if you're a viewer, why would you want to be forced to go to another stream? You know, like, oh, I, you know, this person's doing this stream. I don't want to watch it. I, You know, I don't want to watch it. I mean... If I want to support someone, I want to support someone. Subbing, you're kind of forced to, to sub when the sub expires. I mean, you're not going to sub every day. I mean, if I sub to a channel on Twitch, I'm not going to sub to that same channel every day. I mean, that's just dumb. I'd probably sub when the sub runs out, like normal people, but I wouldn't sub every day. But whatever. I mean, I guess he wants people to, to wail, to, to gift sub again, which is honestly kind of dumb. Uh, because, because the thing that bothers me the most about these fucking, uh, gift subs, it, it's not really the gift subbing, uh, or people that do it, because, I mean, I understand that people want to gift sub, uh, gift sub to him, and they want to hit the goals, and that's kind of fine, whatever, but, but DSP kind of doesn't, he counts that as organic growth when it happens, and then when it, when it, you know, goes down, he's like, well, that's, that's a gift, dude, okay? But I'm still growing, don't worry. I mean, he, he then acknowledges that it's not growth, but then when he has it, he, it's growth then. It, and it's very obnoxious. And it's like, you know, at least with a big tip, it kind of comes in and kind of goes out the door. Like, <laughs> it just, it, 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 it's annoying for like the second it pops up. It's like, oh my God, I get a $100 tip. Thank you. Thank you. Let me suck your dick, man. Oh my God. Oh, the bills are going to be paid, dude. Uh, and, and then it kind of stops, and then it goes on, and, and that's that. But then, when he gets these gift subs, every day, it's just, I'm growing, guys. Er I'm growing. I'm a big dog. I'm going to become the big dog of Twitch, guys. You know, oh my god, everyone loves me. And it's like, th these subs are gifted. You, you know, it, and, and, and he's so deluded. He thinks that his average sub, sub count is between, like, 500 and 550, which is, which is, which it isn't, um, his average is, like, 380 and 420 on a good day, uh, he only gets, gets up to that much because of the gift subs, he has, all, he always finds these gift whales, I guarantee in February, you know what, I'm gonna call this right now, this will be a Theo prediction, come February, we'll have another, uh, whale sub, sub whale, we'll have a sub whale again, uh, I don't know if it's going to be Emerald 7 tier. It could be because, you know, they because my theory with that is they might be doing these big uh, subs during times when they that when he has a sub goal. So the next month there is no goal. Then the following month there'll be uh, a goal again. I feel like it's going to be a month pattern with it, but I don't know. We'll find out because I, I was wrong about predicting Emerald 7's return before. So I, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We will see, I guess, but uh, when he has a sub goal again, it's gonna be this. And I kind of also suspect some uh, some uh, gay ops. Kind of feel like someone's been de emailing Darts Vidal about it, but I don't know. May maybe someone is, and he's like, "Oh, I'm gonna get. I can gift you this many subs if you do this." And he's like, "Oh, okay." I don't know. Who knows? Who knows? Who 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 will really know? No one will know. Uh, where am I? 
Okay, yeah, I read this. So I'm, I'm near the end. Kingdom Hearts... Oh, no, I'm my wrong voice. Kingdom Hearts 3 is going to be a long game, and if I'm going to play it in full without rushing, I need to know that low stream attendance con slash contributions won't mean putting myself at risk for the 60, 80 hours for the playthrough of the playthrough. Thank you for reading and understanding. Now, now, if Dark Spadil had a brain, when he plays long games like this, maybe what he should do is focus on the main missions, do the story missions, maybe some side missions. Uh, you know, get to the end. I mean, without rushing, I guess. I mean, you can just play normally, beat the game, and then. It's like, okay, now I have other, I just have side content to do. You know, I could do that during the two-hour streams or whenever. I could piece that out. No, can't can't do it. That's dumb. He has to he has to do this like Assassin's Creed Odyssey and just kind of get it through and and moan about it being long. That's where this is gonna lead. I guarantee near the near like um the thirty-hour mark. We're gonna hear, oh, this game will never end. There's more. Oh my god, I want to end. I need this game is overstaying its welcome, guys. I, I like the game, but it's overstaying its welcome now, okay? It needs to wrap up. But okay, so let's go to the fucking pre stream. Oh god. Alright, let's do this. Let's do this shit, as uh, they say. I gotta talk about something important and serious, alright? And then we're gonna move on to the plugs, then we're gonna move on to uh, mm. shout outs and the like, like there usual for pre stream. And then we're gonna get right into Kingdom Hearts 3. But, gotta talk, gotta. talk for a bit here, guys. <clears throat> okay? Here's the deal. Um, This month was the worst month ever for YouTube, and I say. This month was the worst month ever on YouTube. Isn't every month worse? I mean, uh, whatever. It's every January, and every January, it's true. YouTube, every year, ad revenue goes down more. Again, he tells us every year, January is bad. Now, now, if you had a brain, and and, and you kind of understand patterns and uh, expectations, if you understand that, I mean, it's it's pretty deep thought process, I guess. I mean, I guess you kind of have to think about it, but uh, let's let's assume for a second like, that Darth Vidal had a brain. Okay, it's December. I know January's a bad month, guys. So please, you know, maybe you should have a tip. You should have had a tip goal. Like, I mean, think about it. He did a tip goal in the beginning of January. You know what? What happened to that tip goal? First off, he tells us, well, well, if you make it to the the Twitch payment, I'm good for the month. That that day has come and gone. Now it's well, well I'm fucked, guys. Now. Now, he also tells us in the other pre-stream, I kind of skimmed it a little bit because I was thinking of doing a video on that, but there really wasn't anything there. Uh, he tells us that, well, the next few weeks are going to be bad, bills-wise. I have to pay the bills and all this other stuff. Now, he did that, so but he tells us every beginning of each month it's bill time, even though he tells us he pays bills every day, but, it, but okay, whatever, whatever. So. What about the payment from Twitch that came in on the 15th of January? If the beginning of January, if that money from the tips went to the bills of that month, and it was to get us to the 15th of January to get the Twitch payment, what happened to that payment? Now, now he might meme us out and say, well, that money went to food. It went to other stuff. Well, yeah. And that's kind of where budgeting comes into play. See... If you pay all the important stuff that can't wait, and then you have leftover stuff that you can kind of ra ration or budget, maybe you should you should just say to yourself, "Look, we." What the fuck? Hear noises, guys. It's the dude. It might be the wind. I think there's a snowstorm, dude. Might be fucked. <laughs> but. Yeah, I mean, it's just, every time he has bills to pay, and then he waits for the Twitch payment, I, it, it just comes off as he doesn't know how to budget money. Because, keep in mind, on top of all of this, he got $400 from Resident Evil 2, plus that. Plus $400 within Resident Evil 2 alone. What happened to that money? 
Now, now I know that when you go grocery shopping, it can get pretty costly, but I mean, shouldn't you budget your groceries? Because food is perishable on top of that. Now he buys like food. He tells us, I think he buys enough food to cook for like weeks. Maybe you should buy food to, uh, I mean, it's just, it's like you're, he's buying all stuff in bulk. Like he's like, there's going to be a storm coming. I mean, I think, I, I think that's what he said. I, I remember him saying something about how much food he buys. I can't really fucking remember when that was. That's too much white noise to go through. But I think he told us that he pays enough, he buys enough food to last a month, I think. At most a month. Maybe a few weeks. A, a few weeks to a month. Roughly. And I just feel like that's buying too much food. Like, you can't just buy groceries, like, later when you need them. Now, he takes a day off every week, and he always says he's, he's off doing errands. And the errands consider grocery shopping, And but I think he says he does other stuff. Now, these errands that he does, what kind of errands does he do that takes all day? Because groceries... I can do grocery shopping and stream the same day. It doesn't really take that much to do it. It's really not that that effort. I mean, the only thing that's the drag is really waiting in line. But, I mean, whatever. So what happens to all this money? And of course, you might meme, meme out and say that, Oh, I'm saving for the bill, for the taxes, man. But then he tells us that the tips go to fucking games. So... It makes no sense. Or it's not changing anytime soon. From what I've seen, YouTube is just keep going on the downward scale. Um, it's funny because now, I... also as I said, the grand the grand pig scheme here is that he told us in the Ask the King that he wants people to to leave YouTube to to support him elsewhere, so he doesn't have to rely on YouTube anymore. And I kind of feel like that's what this is in a way, but eh, it is what it is. Views on YouTube this month were actually much higher than the last two to three months. And I know that sounds weird, but yeah, even those months when I had new releases, my views were actually better this month um, because I did various different things, you know. Yes, there were new releases with Resident Evil 2 and now Kingdom Hearts, but that was balanced with fun, chill stuff, my year-end series. Everything was, was balanced with that, though. So why would that magically make the difference now? <laughs> and do you think the YouTube viewers, like, Resident Evil 2. Whoa, Minecraft! Holy shit, dude! He did a Resident Evil 2 and Minecraft? Oh, I gotta watch everything now. I mean, that that's dumb. Whatever. Series, for whatever reason, my, my attendance and viewership on YouTube views were up. The problem is, YouTube has no ads. And I actually noticed for the first three weeks of this month, I was putting out hour-long gameplay videos. And those videos were only getting one or two ads on them. When in Again, uh, people have literally taken screenshots of his videos having more than two ads. Now, I kind of wonder... Now, you know what this also reminds me? There was a tweet that he did also weeks ago where he uh, he mentioned this, this this meme. I see that YouTube has added two ads and then he did the emoticon of a, of a frowny face. Now, now for a guy who... who, who Bitches and whines and cries about YouTube revenue. When he used a fucking emoticon to describe it, it looks very fucking silly. So it so how as how was anyone supposed to take it seriously? I mean, when I saw that tweet, I couldn't take it seriously. It was like, it, it's like me saying, guys, I uh, my car I uh, couldn't turn on. Frowny face. Like, I mean, it's like. You'd probably say that sucks, but then say laugh out loud or something. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. To me, it's like when you use an emoticon, it's, it's just hard to take it seriously. It, it, I mean, imagine if someone in your family died and you just and you use the emoticon. Well, well, guys, I found out uh, Aunt, Aunt uh, Lala died today. Frowny face. It's like, what the fuck are you doing? So, so this guy takes... Takes his revenue very personally and seriously, by the way, and then says that oh my revenue's low, and he does an emoticon about it. Like how is how am I supposed to feel? Am I supposed to laugh? I don't know. To me, to me, I I I have a hard time taking emoticon seriously. I'm sorry. 
Someone might, might, but you know, I, I don't know. It's kind of, kind of silly. Reality, they should be getting five, six, seven now, ads on. Now, five to six ads. Now, let's think about this for a second. First off, uh, someone should take a picture of the ads that's on his videos because it is more than two, and send it to him and say, "Hey, Phil, you say you have two ads. How come I have more? I have five ads on my video, and." Don't be a dick about it, guys. Be, try to be a fan. Sound good? Very nice. Uh, so, so I'm 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 kind of curious to see what he would say about that. But he puts five to six ads on that. Why would people watch that? I mean, I can understand having ads in the middle of the video, but the but usually when people do that, they usually structure structure it in a way where it's not intrusive or annoying. I can allow it when it's like. Okay, uh, now for a break or something. Then they put an ad. Uh, you know, most people I've seen do three ads: beginning, middle, and end, and that's it. I've never seen anyone go more than three. That kind of blows my mind. Uh, the only way I could kind of maybe see that would be if it's like a stream where it's like five hours or something. I could kind of understand that if it's like you know two hours long. I can kind of understand that. But if it's like an hour long, it should be three ads maximum. Maximum. Greedy. On them. They were barely getting any ads. And because of that, revenue on YouTube, <laughs> terrible. <laughs> Absolutely, you know, awful. I'm supposed to take that seriously when he does that, those sound effects. My revenue is bad. It, my revenue, <laughs> yeah. You know, you know when, when people have uh, board meetings, they're like, Guys, uh, the profits, they went... <laughs> now, now, of course, you could say, well, well, he's a streamer. He's just, you know, talking casually. I would, I would go with that. However, he talks to his fans as if they're investors. So, there you go. And, you know, the good news is that I don't necessarily just rely on YouTube. Again, the meme of telling us good news when we're supposed to feel bad. I love it. Now, of course, it would come up as disingenuous. I, I guess I'm using the word correctly. Or just a liar to to feign uh, begging when it's not fully bad. But there's a better way to, to give bad news and good news than saying, Oh, uh, I'm struggling on YouTube, man. But the good news is I'm making money. It's like... Oh, okay. Revenue, thank God. It's not like it used to be. In fact, primarily I rely on you guys on Twitch. For Twitch this so, month... So he tells us that he wants to rely just on Twitch and it was bad when he relied just on YouTube. But he doesn't see that maybe relying too much on Twitch could be the same issue? I don't know. It was about an average month. It wasn't great. An average bad. month. He got four hundred dollars in a month, plus that. I mean, four hundred dollars in four days, or two days, or whatever. He got two hundred dollars. He got a lot of two hundred dollar tips. That's average. I'm sorry, Dark, but I've never seen you pull in two hundred dollars per day, per stream even. Because I think there was one that was in the in the first stream, then a two hundred dollar at the second stream. I have not seen that being pulled in on his on his streams. In at all, actually. The only time that he got close to that was when he had Afghanistan as a regular, and, and he's kind of. I don't know what happened to him. Someone put him on Suicide Watch, I guess. But, uh, you know, you have that. You have Emerald 7 that kind of came and went. I mean, but those are the subs, whatever. But this month, he got $200, for $200 tips. I've never seen that. The last time I think I've seen that might have been during Bloodborne and Dark Souls shit he, he always does. So, him saying this is average month it uh, for his Twitch channel is really fucking dumb, if you ask me. I mean, oh, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't really think it's average for him. I think it's been pretty on, on the good side, if you ask me, but whatever. It's been at least about an average month. Today's the, being the last streaming day of the month um, for January. I can basically tell you at this point, it looks like it's pretty much an average month for streaming on Twitch, which is good. Because there was very few new releases, right? So hopefully that means that when there's months of entire new releases, things will pick up a bit. But for now, you know, on Twitch it was good. Now, now I think so the revenue's going to pick up now, but what if there's so many new games, people don't tune in? <laughs> that could happen too, you know. 
However, uh, I'm in a situation now where things are not going very well. Okay. Oh no. Um, and let me explain what I mean by that. What Basically, do you mean? What I mean by that is the following. Um, you know, Resident Evil Two did pretty good here on Twitch. People showed up. People contributed. It was great. Kingdom Hearts yesterday didn't go so well. And what I mean by that is, yeah, attendance was all right. Contributions were all right. Seven hundred viewers was all right. Yeah, yeah, that's 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 all right. I mean, it's as viewers he never gets anymore. But that that that's all right. It's it's just, it's just okay. But RG did better when when that pulled in five hundred. But you know, seven hundred, eh, it's it's okay. It's average. You know, in general, I know what's happening with Kingdom Hearts three is that people are staying away from the streams. <clears throat> in fact, I've seen a ton of people message me, you know, on on Twitter, even here in the stream chat recently, and saying. You know, Phil, we appreciate your playing Kingdom Hearts 3. Wait, what? On, on Twitter, even here in the stream. I've seen a ton of people message me, you know, on, on Twitter, even here in the stream chat recently and saying, you know, Phil, we Whatever. appreciate your playing Kingdom Hearts 3. We want you to play Kingdom Hearts 3. We're going to watch your playthrough. But much like we did with God of War last year. <laughs> oh, yeah. They literally said this. Hey, Phil, since I'm playing Kingdom Hearts 3 just like God of War, Phil. I'm not gonna. Wa I'm gonna watch it on YouTube, Phil. Just like that time. Yeah, they talk like that. Yeah. Okay. Kingdom Hearts three is a huge. That's game. like me going to fucking Frank Howley stream when he does uh, the Big Dog stream, and I say, "Hey, Frank, I like your vids. I like the stream, but I'm gonna watch it on YouTube like I always do." <laughs> like that's really fucking dumb. Been waiting for it for some time. And now that it's out, we're going to play it for ourselves. Oh, yeah, they, they say that, too. They say that, too. I agree. With spoilers, we may not attend your stream. Very believable. We're going to watch your playthrough on YouTube. All right. Very now, believable. a year ago, that was fine. Because when a year ago, for God of War, two things were different. Number one, YouTube ad revenue was higher than it is right now. It just was. <clears throat> and number two, my videos on YouTube were still only about 10 to 15 minutes long. He still didn't get the correlation that he was with fucking Curse. Uh, now, I'm going to go to another conspiracy theory as to why he decided to do longer videos. Actually, you know, you know when he told us that, he, that Curse dropped him because of... Uh, oh, this is a good Theo theory. Everyone, everyone, don't take off the, the foil yet. But... What if Curse didn't drop him because of the trolls? What if they dropped him because they had enough of him cheesing ad revenue? Because he uploaded like 10 to 15 minute videos every fucking day. And it was like for, for and it was like, oh my god, can't talk. Four to five hours of them. Now, now what if Twitch was, what if Curse was like, look, your videos are making too much money. Let's, we're gonna have to sever our ties with you, okay, Dark? We're done. We're done here, I don't know. Or something. Maybe they didn't say that necessarily, like, oh, you cost us too much money, but what if it's like, we found out that you're kind of cheesing the system with this, and we're, we're, we're done with it. For a year, you've been cheesing it, and we're done. You know, we if you keep doing this way, we cannot, we cannot keep you on our, on our payroll. And he's like, oh, okay, because he did tell us it was money related. Now, of course, there's also the whole thing where about about networks dropping people. It, it's it's probably that. But what if he only decided to make longer videos to trick other companies to partner him again? Well, because he that's kind of the norm about gameplay videos on YouTube is having long videos. And what if he's only doing it to get these partnership companies to think he's part of that? Oh, that's that's a good meme. So I was putting out way more videos. They had way more advertisements on them that were being viewed. And I was making way more money on YouTube. If you remember, this last summer, per your requests, I changed my YouTube channel up completely. That's also great. He, he keeps blaming his... Like, every time he... T he told us when he made this change about the one hour stuff that it was a positive change. This is great. And, you know... It's, you could kind of tell that was a load of shit that he told us that because ever since then, he has this tone 
Every time that something goes wrong on YouTube, it's like, I listen to your feedback, I decided to make longer videos because that's what you wanted, and I'm making less money because of it. Like, it's like he's guilting them into wanting them to have 10 minute videos again. It's just very shitty. It's like, you know, recently I uploaded two videos, a Game of the Week and a, um, Artcast video, and I saw comments on the Enter the King video saying, oh, this is, these, this is great, you should stick to this, whatever, and that's, that's fine, I, it didn't really bother me, but that's like me commenting under this, saying, uh, oh, no, okay, it's like, okay, here's it, here it is, so I just, so I listen to them, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna do nothing but DSP videos, and then I get fucking annoyed, personally, and I start hating the channel, and all this stuff, and I say, well, I'm feeling shitty because I'm doing the same thing every day, and that's what you wanted. You wanted me to do DSP videos, so I did them. It's because of you. I'm listening to you, and it's it's just shitty. Like, how would you feel at that point? You, you know, it's shitty because then it's I'm blaming you for for things that that is just really not your fault. I mean, you, you, everyone wants something. And, you know, it's not my my job to give you everything. I'm giving give you what, what you like, but I also want to do stuff that I like. It's a, it's a give and take. So, I like doing Game of the Week. I love doing uh, the Artcast. I'm not going to stop those video series. I'm going to keep doing it. I'm going to do more video series, too, on top of that. But I also like doing DSP videos. So, of course, I'm going to keep doing that. But I'm not going to guilt trip people into wanting what I want. Because that's selfish and shitty. Because why would you want to watch a, a, a content creator that guilt trips you to watching their videos? It's just shitty, and it just makes the experience awkward and needlessly um, dramatic, I guess. You know? I, I don't know. It's just, I, I wouldn't be happy, you know, making videos and then having to, and then just having this resentment about it. He sounds like he resents his audience for for these for these changes, which is fucked up to begin with. I thought these were positive changes, Dark. ...and made it so that the videos are an hour long or more. Alright? So because I did that, there is some positive growth on YouTube. I can tell you overall subs are up, and viewer engagement is up. All the things that YouTube claims are a good part of a healthy channel, everything's up. Problem is, uh, it doesn't help with money when money is down. Because the fewer videos means... I rely on you to watch the entire video with multiple ads placed on it. And that's not what's been happening. Like I told you guys, this month in particular, <laughs> it's been completely screwy where I'm putting up hour-long videos. Oh God, it's supposed to show five, six ads, and it's showing one or two. So I'm making way less money than I should be on YouTube. And like I said, this is by far the worst month I've ever had running ads and doing YouTube at all. And it sucks because I'm up. How can I be up yet way down? And this happens every January. Maybe people have ad block. <laughs> I like how he blames the uh, the uh, ad placement, but people could also have ad block. Uh YouTube fucks this stuff up and does this terribly. Because as I said every year, they do a horrible job. If they actually did their jobs well, they would be able to find valid ads and ad space and fill the ad space with good ads that paid, and no one would have to have a dip in January, but they don't do their jobs well at all. We all know this. YouTube sucks. The people who work there are terrible. They do an awful job. They ruin the site constantly. They just screw stuff up, and they don't do a good job selling ad space, and yet they still remain the top video-sharing website because they have a monopoly. So, this all sucks. This all sucks, dude. I guarantee if YouTube went away, he'd cry about it, though. And I don't like talking about this stuff. Hey, you I do. Know. But here's the deal. I don't. Last year with God of War, it didn't matter that people didn't show up to streams and didn't contribute to streams. Oh my god, this is so, so redundant. We... Because it made up for itself with the YouTube viewership and the YouTube ad revenue. With Kingdom Hearts, this isn't going to happen. I, are, I can tell you right now, it's just not going to happen. Ads are way down. In fact, we probably won't see an increase in ad revenue on YouTube until March or April. Because typically that's about when it jumps back up. March to April, huh? I, now... Now, again, as I said, when it was March and April in 2018, he was with Curse. Gonna be interesting to see if he's gonna say that there was an, uh, an increase, or he's gonna say, my YouTube revenue's down, guys, I don't know why. Up again, okay? 
I wonder. So that being said. Because he, he did that in like December. He said December and YouTube was surprisingly down. Last year was much better. I don't know what happened on YouTube, but it was down. I don't know why. He did do that, so. Um, it sucks because what's going to happen here is you're going to have people who are going to be supportive and are going to show up to the streams and they're not going to know any different. You know, the streams are going to be good. King, keep in mind, Kingdom Hearts 3 is going to be an incredibly long playthrough. Wait, what? All right, it is. It'll be good. And they're going to show up in here is you're going to have people who are going to be supportive and they're going to show up to the streams and they're not going to know any different. You know, the streams are going to they're be They're not going to know any different. He, oh, he makes his fans sound like fucking animals. Like, it really, it really does. He sound like, he complains about having to be a parent. Uh in his dreams, but he pretty much is when he says shit like this. He sounds like he has to train them. Oh, they don't know any better. I need I need to train them how to give me money. <laughs> King, keep in mind, Kingdom Hearts 3 is going to be an incredibly long playthrough. All right, it is. It's going to be very long playthrough. Probably upwards of 60 to 80 hours, much like the Dragon Quest Eleven playthrough was. And I am going to be focusing on it at least, you know, at least for a month to two months. And... As a, as a game on and off for one one week here at least or more it'll be the main focus and then after that it's going to probably be a game I balance with other stuff um, being that the game is so damn long okay so that being said um, what I'm you know what I need to do is appeal to you guys now most of you who are here on stream are people who watch on stream anyway so what I'm hoping is that people will watch this pre-stream on YouTube. Maybe you're someone who watches my pre-streams on YouTube and watches oh, yeah. videos on YouTube, okay? Oh, oh yeah. Again, as I said, if they did, then why do you need to tell them? Wouldn't they want to contribute because you need to pay the bills? And they know YouTube revenue sucks. So you complain about it every time. So why the fuck are they still not stepping up then, Dark? What the fuck is wrong with them? I mean, they didn't step up when you lost your AdSense. Remember that? He did. He lost his AdSense, and he had to do a video telling them to step up, and they didn't step up. Ugh. On Twitter last night, explaining the situation, and of course, a bunch of Twitter trolls attacked it. Twitter trolls attacked it, dude. I thought you blocked the trolls. They're complete idiots. Complete idiots. Um, and they don't the understand the situation. Oh, it's greed. Phil wants more. He always wants more. No, it's it's, it's greed. Phil always wants more. He got like what, like. 1200 from fucking Emerald 7 that's going to come in Jan in February and he had he got $400 in tips from Resident Evil 2. He made, he did he had like a good fucking month on Twitch and he's and that's not enough. And then he tells us that by January 15th he'd be good for the month. And now he's telling us that the month is the month sucks, it's a piece of shit. Throw it in the throw it in the trash. Well, not trash, but it's average, which is fucking a lie anyway because it was an average it was pretty good but okay yeah dsp is not greedy it's i just want to keep what i got and if i see a dip in income over a course of a month or two because i'm playing kingdom hearts and i already no see one... a dip in a month or two we mean well two months because guess what's coming in february baby that that emerald seven payment you know really attending or contributing during the I streams mean, it, he's gonna be fucking salt like a salty fucking pig come February, because everyone, I have a feeling everyone's going to mention it, like, hey, Phil, did the Emerald 7 payment come in, and it's going to get to the point where he can't lie about it anymore, because, I mean, we know everyone knows he gets paid by Twitch, so he's going to have to be like, yeah, god damn it, I want, I want it, they, they need to tip me, but I, I fucking Emerald 7, he's going to be a salty fucking potato, guarantee it. And only watching on YouTube, and I'm making no money on YouTube, that means I can't pay my bills, all right? And that's the situation I'm facing right now. Is How is he always facing situations where he can't pay the bills? He always gets through it every month. It's kind of, fun kind of funny. Now, I've also said this. The end of each stream, I've noticed that he has been spreading false positivity when it's a stream that... Uh, you know, it, it just, it's a slow stream, you know. He gets a slow-ass stream, and he's like, Oh, today's been good. Uh, positive contributions. Pretty good. Can't complain. And I've noticed this. Every time he does this, it always builds up 
to a massive pre-stream where he cries about money. Very funny how that works out. Ugh. Kingdom Hearts 3 is a playthrough. I played it for one day. I've enjoyed it a ton, and I want to keep playing and, and playing at my own pace and doing side content and having fun and treating it like a full-fledged playthrough. I don't want to rush through it. I'm treating it like a full-fledged playthrough. Uh, why wouldn't you? This is what I don't understand. We said, what, what, what is that? What, is, what does that mean? It's a, it's a triple-A release. How would you be treating it any different? Okay. I don't want to have it go on the back burner. I want it to be a fun game we can all experience together. But if that I don't want it to be put on a back burner, but I thought it was a JRPG, and and JRPGs are great for second stream video, uh, second stream stuff. I thought it was chill stuff. Guess I was wrong. Feels bad, man. If that's the case. I need help in order to get through it. You see what I mean? You need um, somebody help. You need somebody and it sucks help because. It's hilarious that there's other games. I I love you know you know for a while I was confused with that with that noise. I wonder what that noise is. It's that stupid fucking stress ball, dude. What if Cat broke it just to save us from hearing? <laughs> like, I mean, I crack my knuckles, but I mean, my mic is probably a piece of shit, and you probably can't hear it very well. But he's like doing pretty much this. As he's talking, and it says he does all of these noises, and it's so fucking annoying. Like, if you want to fucking snort all you want and say his post nasal drip, fine. If you want to burp because of the stomach condition, fine. But crunching water bottles and fucking stress ball slapping and claps can all be fucking controlled, Dark. They're not. They're not issues. They're not chronic medical issues. They're things you can control. Believe it or not, and stress balls are meant to be squeezed. By the way, not like a fucking juggler, are you? He says he's not a clown. He's practicing his juggling routine, dude. For example, Dragon Quest XI, all right, is actually the complete opposite of this situation. How? Dragon Quest XI, a lot of people watch Oh, because Hank Duma came. See, see, Hank Duma is fucking selfish. I've noticed with Hank Duma. Hank Duma, if you're watching this, I know your fucking tricks, your tricks now. He comes in for games that he likes. And gives Dark Spadil all the money he wants. But when it's a game he doesn't like or wants to watch, gives him nothing. Fucking Hank Duma is fucking greedy. And also, where the fuck is Rob Warren? Rob Warren and Hank Duma, the two the two fucking rich boys in the fucking stream, are gone. Fucking selfish. They need to step the fuck up. Remember when Rob Warren would come in beginning of every every day, first stream. We would not get away from $20 tip from Rob Warren, and he would just say, hello. Where the fuck is Rob Warren? Him and Hank Duma need to step the fuck up. They're very selfish. They're not giving Dark Spadil money. Do they want him to disappear? What fucking assholes? I thought they liked the... They, they, I thought they liked Phil. Guess not. They like the game. I guess they like the game more than like Phil. That's fucked up. Th those are fucked up fans, t uh, to be honest. I mean, they only show up during games that they like and then give Phil money because they're playing a game that they like. That's fucked up. I thought you were supposed to be giving money to, to a streamer that you like. These guys, Rob Born and Hank Duma, are fucked up people, okay? They're fucked up. T terrible supporters. Terrible. And Swaggins, I mean, don't get me started. He didn't even cheer when he said he was going to. I mean, all his whales are fucking pathetic now. Infinite, pitiful 2K t uh, cheers and $5 tips. You can afford 2K in bits, but not $20 in tips. That's fucked up, Infinite. You're a fucked up person. You need to step the fuck up because he's fucking crying to you right now. And you're just sitting there with your big money. And, I mean, this is like me, guys. Go into a fucking stream and be like, I got, a, I got money. <laughs> fucking terrible fucking fans. Terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible. They need, they need to feel bad. They, they, need, they need to be punished. Dark, punish them. And didn't, well, I, let me take this back. Not a lot of people watch me play. But the people who watch me play were very supportive on the streams. They came out and they... Wait, what? Not a lot of... Dragon Quest XI, a lot of people watch me play and didn't... Well, I, let me take this back. Not a lot of people watch... <laughs> now, I was... Uh, me play. 
But the people who watched me play were very supportive on the streams. They came out and they were they were contributing, all right, um, because they appreciated me playing a lengthy JRPG. <laughs> yeah, it's because they appreciated Dark playing the game. They didn't give him money because they liked the game. No, that can't be it. No. Can't be. A lot of other streamers wouldn't cover like I did. <laughs> yeah, no one covered right. I covered okay. and did a full playthrough, 80 plus hours. <clears throat> With Kingdom Hearts 3, those people who normally would have come and been supportive aren't on the streams because they don't want to be spoiled. You see what I mean? So because this is a hot new release, it's actually biting me in the butt. Because it's a, a new game people don't now, watch. Now, he says this, and then tells us, well, maybe when the, all the new releases come out, it's going to be great. But wouldn't that be more of what's going on here? I like how God of War and oh, like Kingdom Hearts 3 is getting the fucking shaft here. Because it's a tr it's a big release, and, and people want to know the story. They don't want to be spoiled. But people wouldn't want to be spoiled with the other games? Okay, figure, figure that out. Spoiled, they're not showing up to the stream. That's not good. All right. That's not good. Um, they, they don't want to so be spoiled. That's not good. So what I said on Twitter good. last night was, if you're gonna planning on playing the King, or excuse me, if you're planning on watching my Kingdom Hearts 3 playthrough, and you're planning on watching it on YouTube to avoid spoilers, that's all well and great. But if that's the case for you, please consider contributing in another way. But what if these people watch without any intention to contribute? Because a lot of people watch people without the intention of giving them money. <laughs> I mean, that's just how it is. I mean, people go to a store, that doesn't mean they're going to walk out with a product. <laughs> Whether it's pledging to my Patreon at patreon.com forward slash darksidephil, buying some merch for my Teespring shop, or maybe one day just swinging by a pre-stream and cheering, subbing, or tipping to contribute via that method. Um, um, any of those but then at the same time, you want to avoid spoilers. Why would you go to the pre-stream? He literally talks about what he did. I mean, I, I couldn't go to the Resident Evil 2 pre-streams because... I know his fucking gimmick. Well, I went to this part of the game where I fought this, and I fought that, and then this happened, it'll be gad. And then I'd be spoiled, because I never played RE2. I only played... I played... Well, I played RE2, but I got to, um... The alleyway, and I kept dying. I got to the gun shop, and I kept dying. And I was like, fuck this, I'm, I can't do it. I can't do it. I couldn't continue, because the gameplay was... The gameplay... If they fixed camera angle, I could, I could, uh... I could adapt to, but I couldn't adapt to the controls, TBH work you know you don't even have to stick around for the stream to avoid spoilers just come by contribute a little bit because the youtube ad revenue just ain't cutting it anymore you know it's not and it sucks and again i like how he has to explain to people how to give him money like it's it, it's current year and he still thinks people are like grandparents who don't know how to use the internet ah uh, how do i how do i where what are these things uh Oh, oh, I can't leave this fucking archive. Well, what? Where are these pictures? I, where do? Where are the links? I, I thought I would see HTTPS. The, cool, cool, ba 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 ba. Where? Where are those things? I, I don't know how to fucking click links, dude. I mean, these people use the fucking internet. They don't know how to fucking give you money. Okay, I get. I guess. I guess. Uh, you know, people are all retards. I guess. We're all gonna die. We're all gonna die. They don't know how to use the internet, dude. I don't like talking about this shit. I don't. I hate it. I don't want to have to bring this up. I he hates talking about it, but there's like numerous pre streams where he tells us to please tip him. Yeah, he doesn't like bringing this up, guys. I don't want to have to make my streams about this. I want as he adds a tips total that he never had in his streams before. Added a a horror board to his streams that he said he would never do before. Run, runs the Twitch and do all the stuff they said he'd never do before. He hates doing this and does it anyway. It'll be about fun gameplay. But yesterday, I'll be very honest with you guys, I had a great day playing this game, and I was terrified. Because I'm like... I was terrified. Uh, this is going to be a 60 to 80 hour playthrough, and if every day turns out um slow, then I play Kingdom Hearts. Oh, the other thing I want to say is that, let's say that the Kingdom Hearts stream is on the same pace every day. But the people go to his Patreon, and they go to his Teespring, and they participate those ways. Do you really think DSP is going to not be pissed off about Kingdom Hearts 3? Of course not. He's still going to be like, Well, guys, I'm not making any YouTube revenue off of fucking Kingdom Hearts 3, and streams are very slow. I can't do this game. And then someone could say, But your, your uh, Patreon went up. 
I mean, it's it's so fucking dumb when he does this shit. Because he does it all the time. Like, oh, if you do this, if you pay me this method, it's gonna uh, support the playthrough. But if you do any method that's not on stream, it doesn't count t towards the playthrough. So, I mean, I guess you have to, like, uh, donate on Patreon and specifically tell them this is to support Kingdom Hearts 3. You have to tell them specifically because pigs cannot think. They have to be told what to do. <sighs> so, so dumb. This is not good. And in fact, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna beat around the bush, guys. You, want, you know how today is not all Kingdom Hearts? That, this is a major reason why. You know how Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I just said I'm gonna balance Kingdom Hearts with other stuff. He told us he was gonna balance that e even day one of when he played Kingdom Hearts 3. Before he played the game, he already had a game plan about the rest of the week. So you're really going to tell me that today you came to this revelation to do fucking variety streams? Variety streams? Sure. Okay. This is why. Yeah, this is because why. Because doing a full day of it yesterday, I saw so many people stayed away to avoid spoilers that it's not going to work. I can't do this as a full day. I have to balance this with stuff that people will actually show up for on stream. But how does he know that the participation might not... How does he know that Kingdom Hearts 3 is not going to come to Dragon Quest level? Because Dragon Quest wasn't a big explosion of tips on day one. Like, when he first got the game, and when he played the game, like, uh, subsequently after that, it wasn't a big release that was a big hit that gave him a lot of money. It only got him a lot of money, like, later on. Like, maybe maybe halfway through the, the first run of the playthrough, like, the first ending, the halfway to that point, it, it started to pick up. Um, with the whales, but I mean, it it, it kind of had a slow build up. How does he know that's not gonna happen with Kingdom Hearts? Okay, because I'm relying on the streams to support me. Being quite honest, all right. Wait, um, you're relying on the streams, but I thought then what, what does YouTube have to do with this? What? Huh? Okay, great. So there you go. That's the deal, everybody. So. Apologies that I even have to bring this up, but in a nutshell, I like Kingdom Hearts 3. I want to keep playing it at my own pace and do a full playthrough, but uh, YouTube is not cutting it for support anymore. Just watching on YouTube, sadly, isn't helping enough anymore. So if you plan on watching this playthrough not on streams and not contributing on the streams, please, if you can, contribute via another way. Any Anything helps. Trust me. Some people say, oh, I can't help. I can just toss a dollar. A dollar helps, man. A dollar Seriously, helps. You don't even get it. You know, Don't. Don't look at it. Um, seriously, don't. Don't look at it like, oh my god, um, <clears throat> this is so... Uh, I can't help Phil because I can only throw a dollar in or whatever. Dude, that's not what it's about at all. But how how often does he shit on dollars? Because, I mean, he literally says, well, it's a dollar. Ah, yeah, buy it, whatever. Fuck it, it's just a dollar, dude. Okay. Oh, it's about... Many, many people sure. contributing and it adding up. That's how it's always been with me. It's not about, oh, one person comes in and contributes huge. Even though when that happens, it helps. It's the opposite. It's many people who are watching something just contributing. But he literally told us that's not the case with Dragon Quest, where one person came in to support this, the playthrough. Literally told us that Dragon Quest was supported by whales. I mean, he didn't say whales, but, you know, pretty much. And, but that's not what it's about, okay. Helps tremendously. You guys have no idea. All right? So, please consider it. All right? Please consider... Holy shit, dude. $50 tip from Captain DCW, dude. Holy shit, they stepped up finally. If you, all you can. Um. By the way... This must be normal now. He got a $50 tip today. That that must be uh, going to be the norm for Kingdom Hearts Seed from now on. $50. Come at. I'm going to do shout-outs later, but thank you very much to Captain DCW, who just did a very generous tip. That's much appreciated. And I'm going to talk about that in a moment, too, how the tips are going to help me out in the next week or two. In a moment. Um, he has to hype it up. So all right, like, so. You're going to pay the bills. All that being said, thank you guys for the support. Why not just I say it now? That. Why are we hyping and that up? Hopefully. um, You know. like the, the, See how dumb his pre-streams are? That they're just, he's, he's going to say thank you again. He's like, he should have said, okay, uh, now I'm going to talk about tips. I mean, tipping would help me great piece of bills, and this and that. Now, onto shout-outs. See how smooth and and easy that is? No, he has to specifically do, okay, I am talking now. This is the schedule. Here's the schedule. 
Now I'm going to talk about stuff I want to talk about. Okay, that is all I want to talk about. Here are the plugs. P plugs, plug, plugs. Okay, uh, here's how shoutouts work. Here are the rules. Okay, what I want more. Tips. Okay, now, shoutouts. Here are the shoutouts. Okay, that's the end of shoutouts. Now, I'm going to boot up the game and end the pre-stream. Pre-stream is over. Okay, welcome to the stream. This is the YouTube intro. We're going to boot her up. Okay, let's play the game. We're going to play the game. This is where I was. Sora did a flip. Cool. Sora walked into a door. Uh. Okay. Great stream. Work out. I don't want to say, oh, after a week of playing it, I have to stop playing Kingdom Hearts because I'm, you know, no one's showing up and no one's contributing. I don't want to say that. I want this to be successful. But I sadly have to rely on, on this. You know, I can't just rely on, oh, everything's going to be hunky-dory and fine hunky if I don't dory. mention anything because I can't anymore. You know, because of YouTube being so stupid and unreliable and screwy. And so you say YouTube is always unreliable and he wanted to leave YouTube. I mean, he literally had a year where YouTube fucked up his channel, apparently. Well, the Elias channel removed AdSense, etc. He literally, every year, he has YouTube issues. How? So, like, why? Uh, uh. Everything up. Um, I have to have moments like this that suck ass. Okay. Yeah, it sucks, dude. He really hates so, talking I about it. That. That's why right, it's I do. But hopefully things work out. Part. All right. Okay. So, that's the deal, guys. I um, like playing games, though. That's what's going on. I am hoping that, you know, some people will, <sighs> uh, from who are watching the YouTube videos, will will actually come over here and hang out with us and will either watch a little bit and contribute. Still have a huge YouTube audience up and down, but it's around a million views a month on YouTube. You know what I mean? They watch the video. It's just because I'm now. I like how we still have people going to the a 40-minute pre-stream. This fucking guy... Had hour long pre streams for a ye for years now. It's that fucking bad. It's that fucking bad of a fucking pre stream. He always does this now. This is normal. This is the norm. So get used to it. That's the deal, everyone. Thank you very much for your support. Thank you. The thing is, for those of you who are here live, you're really not even the people I'm appealing to right now. You guys already are supportive. You guys already come out. You guys yeah. already contribute. You're not oh, the people no. who I'm really, you know, oh, speaking no. to right now. I'm at the right shovel, now. guys. <clears throat> I'm more trying oh, to direct no. this stuff to people who don't tune into the streams normally. All right, so fair enough. Here's hoping that things turn around. I'm going to give you guys a, a perfect example here of the hilarity of some of the stupid shit that people say. So, last night I posted basically this message here up on Twitter go. trying to appeal to the YouTube viewers. And some, I got some positive feedback and some positive responses. And then, of course, a thousand troll responses of negativity. He's greed. and Oh, it's Phil's greed. Phil's greed. Let me tell you guys the truth of the matter here. Things are so tight right now, <clears throat> money-wise for me, that um, I can't even renew my Adobe Premiere Pro. You can't renew Adobe Premiere. A program he never used. The horror, guys. Guys, he couldn't renew something he never used. Maybe, maybe you should cut the services you don't use. That is a, that. No, that made too much sense. He, he needs to pay. He need, he needs to pay for stuff. I mean, I love the look. I have to cut the cord from. Adobe Premiere. Okay, but you're a live streamer now. D uh, hey, DSP, are you going to do reviews again? Uh, no, I can't do any reviews, dude. Can't. YouTube sucks. I I'm a streamer now. This is where this is how it's going to be, dude. Can't can't do YouTube, okay? Phil, are you going to do uh, thumbnails? No, man. Uh, I'm too busy. He he never used Premiere. Like, I guess the only thing he used it for was the uh, Patreon crawl, but you can lit literally whip it up. Whip up a Patreon crawl with the free movie editors that comes with your computer. So, it's kind. It's really. It was really dumb of him to constantly pay for an app that he never fucking that he's never gonna use again. So maybe, maybe he should have cut that cut that service when he decided to be a streamer. Whoa, guys, that's. 
That's way too logical, man. Oh. Pro subscription. It expires, I think, February 7th. I just got an email about it. So to renew it, it costs over $200, and I can't do it. I Basically, what I did is I sat down and I looked at my finances, and I looked at how much do I really use Adobe, and the answer is... Why, did, why didn't he do this when he got that 16K? When all this, when all this bad stuff happens, why didn't he just look at that and, and decide this? It. I love that he waits until, like, the last possible minute to do this. And also, you know, remember what this came to mind? He he also reorganized the bills, the bill payments. He reorganized the bill payments when they're due to coincide with the Twitch payment. He told us he did this, and it's going to uh, be in effect within two months. So, is that going to be in effect in February or, or March? I don't know. Not that much. I don't really edit videos that much anymore. As you guys know, I'm a live streamer. That's really my... my he has been a live streamer for two years. So, you're, so you paid for this program for two years when you told us you're a live streamer for two years? Are you sure that, that you're an honest valedictorian? I mean, that might have been a pity valedictorian award, maybe. Maybe, maybe they felt sorry for him. I don't really edit game reviews. I'm not. I don't really edit anything in videos anymore. Um, even my year-end series, I didn't edit. Right. <clears throat> so then, why did you keep it? So for... that being said, um, you know, I I look at Alex, I, I This is just he's so very. Much, I think I have. He's to... very good with money. That's why he paid for Adobe Premiere for the years that he never edited videos again. The last video he edited was in 2016. He kept Adobe Premiere. From 2016 to 2019. Just think how logical that is. I mean, you'd think that because 2016 was pretty, like, 20, January 2017. I mean, he could have just did the, uh, the 2016 awards. Like that. Like, for 2017, for the, for that year. Ugh, it's just dumb. It's just, it was really dumb that he kept it for that long when he brags about being a live streamer and not doing any videos anymore. So then why did you keep it for that long if you really need money, dumbass? To cut. As much, much as Herpa it sounds ridiculous, someone's a full-time content creator and won't have a video editor. Ugh. Yeah, I, I don't think I can afford it. I don't think I can afford over 200 I think it's like $250. I like how it's like, I can't afford it, so I have to cut it. Not That's 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 how he decides that he has to cut something when he can't afford it. Not that I don't use this thing. I should cut this thing that I'm not using. No, no, it's that I can't afford it. That's why I have to cut it. That's like me going to the store, buying all the stuff, I buying one thing I need and 10 things I don't need, and then being like, what? I can't afford it anymore. I need to stop buying the other 10 things I don't need. It's like, why are you getting the other things that you don't need? Uh, it's just astounding how dumb he is. He's crazy. For the year subscription. And yet he has I a business degree. You know? So that's something I think I'm just not going to renew. And I'm just going to cut it out of my budget. He does this while, like, he complains about YouTube uh, mishandles their budget. But it sounds like YouTube knows how to budget their company better if they're still running a business and not begging for money. While a guy kept a fucking editing pro a program that he, never, that he told us he doesn't use anymore because he's a live streamer now. And paid it for two years that he didn't really need it. So he willingly gave $200 on a program he didn't need that he doesn't use anymore and he, he and he operates the business better than YouTube. Okay, yeah, sure. You know, it's something else that something else I can't afford anymore. I just just last night sat down and paid some more bills. I know cuz I just paid bills oh, I to pay more bills. Oh, Mariah Masaki. Oh, oh, my favorite. My favorite uh comic book uh, person he makes the best comics dude great comic hope hope it continues why bother phil you no longer do edited videos anyway marai masaki he literally just said that you get a slow clap buddy I had to pay a 200 dollar sewer tax bill for a condo in connecticut i don't live in and i don't use the sewer but the, the city doesn't give a fuck. They bill me $200 twice a year for sewer use, even though I don't live there. <clears throat> this is one of the kind of shit that I have to put up with. Um, 
So yeah, it sucks. Um, maybe maybe but that's life, whatever. you know. That's the situation I'm in is I'm trying to cut back as much as I can on everything I can. How how are you cutting back? It took you two years to realize to cut back on the editing pro program you never used. In two years, it took you that long to do that. Okay. Um, minimum spend, minimal spending, and everything. Um, and that you know, because I have to. Not unless, trust me, not that I want to. I have to. Um, because so of what's going wait, he has to, guys. Not that he wants to. He he doesn't want. He he wanted to keep paying two hundred dollars on a program he never uses. He wanted to do that. He has to get rid of it. This is why people say you're bad with money. Ugh. What's going on now with income and everything. That, and uh, hopefully things will pick up. That's like someone smoking a cigarette and saying like, Man, it's gonna suck. Lung cancer sucks, man. I don't want to get lung cancer. It's like you're, you're smoking cigarettes, man. I mean, cancer sucks all the same. But I mean, if it's something that you could get, you could avoid. I mean, uh, I don't know, whatever. You know what I mean, though. With the fucking money, he, uh, maybe that's a bad example. You know what I mean. Typically, things pick up, you know, a little bit more within one to two months here. But I don't know why I go with such bad fucking examples, right though. Okay. Just bad. <clears throat> it's, it's it's all right. <laughs> it's the cold. But... So now let's move on from that, everyone. All right, let's move on from that crap. Let's do the plug segment. How can you? <laughs> Let's move on from talking about money to talk about money. That's gonna cheer me up. Okay. You guys contribute. January via that method. Check it out at patreon.com forward slash that I give back for the things that you guys contribute. Nominate or vote on contribute outs in my video. A video made, you can get your forward slash dark side fill, and thank you to anyone who also there's my to the quality myself. Give it a look, teespring.com forward slash my screen. Meaning that it probably is if anyone contributed. You drop all that money and then you play the same quality game you've been playing for the last 15 years. And I hate to say it, there's been very few experiences that on the modern consoles have been better than last gen. I'd say probably maybe 15 to 20 games that I've played in the last five years have had graphics that have blown me away compared to last gen. Outside of that, just kind of meh. Meh. You know? So... I, I you know, it's hard for me to get excited about a new console long so so okay this is going to be the thing I'm going to end on because I I'm done talking about about this but he says that well it's hard for me he's basing the quality of a next gen console on current gen con on the current gen console do you know how dumb that sounds because back when the N64 was new you know, someone could say the same thing. Well, this game, uh, well, the end, Super Mario 64 blew me, blew me away. I don't think we could, we could top it, guys. I mean, what's the point? What's the point of making a new console? I don't know if I can get hyped for the next console. So you're really telling us that... So he's saying that he, he can't get hyped for the PlayStation 5 because all the games on the PlayStation 4 all look the same because they all look good. Even though PC games might look better. Uh, dark, dark might need might need to go back to school. I I think I think Cat is poisoning him. You know what, guys? I think Cat's drugging him. I think Cat's lipping the Mickey into his drinks every day. He needs he needs to stop. Cat, please stop. Stop poisoning the pig. Pigs pigs have a different metabolism than most humans got, dude. You can't you can't you can't give a pig something you could give a human. And think that the pig's going to behave normally. I mean, you can't do that. You need to give a pig the required food that they can metabolize. You can't give them something that well, they don't know what the fuck it is. I mean, it's terrible. I mean, that's like giving... Why do you think a dog can't eat chocolate? I mean, come on. Come on. Cat, use some fucking common sense. Ugh, this is terrible. Terrible content. Alright, everyone. Thank you for watching my vid, this vid. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed all of them, all my vids. Hope you like the the new content. I diversify the content on this channel. Uh, but it is what it is. Uh, hope to see you next time when I stream. It's probably gonna be. I don't know if I'll stream on Friday. I don't know yet because I have to. Because my parents want my parents, my mom and my brother want to do something for me for my birthday. So. I'm going to spend time with them, obviously, so I don't know if I'll be streaming, but 
Uh, if I do, if I do stream, it's gonna be next week. So that's exciting. So see you guys when I see you. Have a nice one.